even though Guerrilla Games clearly mentioned that they haven't fixed the shimmering issue in the performance mode, I was curious if there is any difference between patch 104 and 108. And I have to admit that when I compared patch 104 and patch 108, I found that patch 108 does look a little bit better. Well, let's say like this, different, less shimmering in the background, but also not as sharp as patch 104. But I have to be very careful here because even I'm trying to compare the exact same location and yeah, I'm trying that uh, I'm running at the exact same path as with patch 104, the lightning in the game, the daylight or yeah, the overall brightness in the game is always changing and this can make a big difference. Even we would agree on that patch 108 makes the shimmering less noticeable, the draw in and pop ins are still exactly the same. In my opinion, it is very important that we keep talking about yeah, general issues, not just technical related issues, but general issues or problems in games. Because if there is something, what I learned is as soon as you stop talking about a problem, about an issue, everybody else will do it. And as soon as you stop talking about a yeah, technical issue in a game, the developer or Sony or Microsoft or whoever um, the company is behind this, will also stop talking about it. That's how it works. And that's why I will continue doing videos for every patch what is going to be released for this game, for one of my most wanted games on the PlayStation 5. And so far I have really to say, spoiler alert, the yeah, most disappointing game 2022 from a technical point of view. So. Again, I will continue doing videos like this and I know that many people doesn't like it, but I couldn't care less, to be very honest, because I care. And why I care is what I have seen, what I have learned in a couple, in the last couple of months, years actually, that the gaming industry, all the developer, the big companies are getting lazy, getting really to a point where we're having unfinished products, okay? Um, so. Let's continue with this as an example. The game was released with patch 104. On the day when it was released, we got patch 104, first day patch or whatever you call this. And now we have patch 108. That's five patches since it was released on the 18th of February. It was 18th of February, yes. So that means a little bit over a month and we received already five patches, five upgrades. And now many people, oh, that's great. That's great. They're working on the game. That's not great. Have you actually read all the patch notes, the patch fixes? There are major bug fixes in where people can't actually, yeah, playing the game because they're stuck somewhere. And this is not a finished product. I'm not talking about Patches or upgrade, uh, upgrades where we get new, I don't know, shields or weapons or enemies or new locations or new side quests or stuff like that. Or maybe, yeah, we added a little bit, uh, I don't know, more flowers here, more trees here, more characters here, more NPCs here, stuff like that. That's just great. We are really just talking about bug fixes in these five patches. And this means the game is not finished at all. This game was released way too early. And that's my opinion. And again, I know that many people, they don't agree with me, but again, I have to say, I couldn't care less because I'm also doing this for you. If you don't care, then the next game will even worse. I promise you this. If we don't speak up, if we don't hold them accountable for their, their product, what they're releasing, it will get worse. It will get worse. I promise you that. And this is where it has to stop. I like to have a quality product. I'm not talking about, oh, don't get me wrong. We're talking about open world games. They are huge. They are huge and it's a lot of work. Okay. It's a lot of work. I get this and you will have bugs. That's just normal, but not in a way like this is at the moment in a state. I mean, I have read this, this, uh, all the patch notes so far. There's, don't get me wrong again, not major, major issues, but so many things what should be already fixed when I do my QA, when I do my quality testing. There's no excuse for this. And again, this is also my opinion. And 
this is a problem with the gaming industry they're getting lazy not lazy don't i think it's wrong when i'm saying lazy because there are people in every company doesn't matter microsoft sony uh, guerrilla games they like to have the best product but there's also management there's also sales there's also advertising or whatever and they all like to see money that's what it is about i mean come on it is just about money and the, the earlier they're releasing this game yeah the earlier they're making money and the reason why they released this game also on the playstation 4 is also just about money and that's also a problem because we will see many many triple a games still coming up for the playstation 4 which is understandable but for the playstation 5 not a good thing i mean we have seen games like ratchet and clank rift apart which are exclusively for the playstation 5 how good they are looking this is a new generation clearly but this is not in the 30 fps resolution mode yes maybe but i would actually expect this graphic in 60 fps on a playstation 5 that's again my opinion you don't need to agree but let's have a very nice conversation in the comment section without any yeah abusive speech or whatever okay let's try this and i try to yeah answer all of your questions or comments okay thank you very much for watching me i see you guys next time bye